Welcome back guys, Johnny Cack over at AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to use the hybrid order ticket within CQG Mobile, also known as the HOT function. Uh, hybrid order ticket, uh, HOT basically is the abbreviations for hybrid order ticket. And uh, we're going to show you first how to bring it up. And uh, once we have it open, we're going to show you how to place trades off it. Also known as the dome, uh, depth of market. So this is the hybrid order ticket that you see on the left side of the workspace here. And this particular layout that you see on the screen is the default layout when you log into the, the trial demos. Uh, this is not something necessarily that you see when you log into a live account. Uh, but as we move forward in progression with the, the segments of these video series for CQG Mobile in particular, I will show you how to build out your workspaces and create different widgets and how to integrate them within your workspace uh, so you can build something along the lines of what you see here. So just in case if you are watching this video and you have a live account and you're wondering how to get this particular setup created, I'll give you a basic demonstration uh, focusing on building out workspaces uh, in that particular video segment. For now, let's focus on the hybrid order ticket. So this is uh, what you see here. Now one thing I want to show you real fast is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add a hybrid order ticket. So and we'll get into that as well, how to add different widgets. But if you notice, my, I have one workspace created called trading. And then within the trading workspace, these are all the different widgets that I have created within the trading workspace. So you can see there's a main tab up here. And then right below it, there's submenu tabs, which show you the different widgets that I have created within the trading workspace. So if I click the plus sign up here, this is going to add a new page, which is not what I want to do. That's, that's essentially building out another workspace, which is not what I want to do. But if you notice here, if I click this little plus sign, it, it gives me the ability to add a new widget. So if for any reason you don't have the hybrid order ticket already open, then just click the little plus sign where it gives you the ability to add a new widget. And then it will show you an itemized list of the available widgets that you can create within CQG Mobile. And then you're just going to go down the list and just search for hybrid order ticket, which is right here. When you left click on that, then what happens is it's going to ask you what symbol do you want to populate for the hybrid order ticket. So you can just type in the symbol, for example, EPU6, which is the September mini S&P. And then once you click that and add it, it will then create a hybrid order ticket specifically for that symbol. Now this one by default looks a little different than what you see here. And that's because there's a couple things that you probably have to change right off the bat that I would recommend. So let's say, for example, this particular hybrid order ticket that I just created. On the top right corner, if you notice, there's a little box with three dots. And that will allow me to edit that hybrid order ticket that I just created. All right, so now if I go here, the, the first thing that I would highly recommend is separate out the bids and bids and offers. So therefore, you have a traditional dome where you have the bids on the left side and you have the offers on the right side. Uh, by default, it's, it does not separate it. So it basically keeps the, uh, the bids and the offers on the same side, which is a little strange. So I definitely would recommend separating them out so it looks more of a traditional dome there. And then, of course, you can go into the preferences menu, and the rest is really just personal preference. You know, how do you want your trade buttons to be displayed? Do you want it to be displayed on the right, the bottom, the left, the top? Uh, do you want to compress the bid and ask? Recent trade sequence, I usually leave that check. It just kind of gives you an idea of what the market did uh, from the last trade price when you last refreshed your dome. And then you also have additional info, uh, which I typically like to have that. Uh, selected. This basically gives you the ability to see the quantity, the last trade price, the overall change for the day, total volume, as well as a spread between the bid and the ass, as you can see right here. So right now, 2078 is what we're trading last. The last trade quantity was one. Market's up 3.75 since the open, and we've only we've only traded 32,000 contracts since the open. It's about 6:45 here California time, so there's really not much going on. And that's the spread between the bid and the offer, the best bid and offer at this moment, which is which is currently a quarter. All right, so that's pretty much how you create a new hybrid order ticket widget. I'm going to go ahead and close it out for now because I already have one open that has a proper scale. I like this one better for the video. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with this that you see on the left here. But I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration how to add the widget within your workspace if you don't already have it created. All right, so now that we've had that um, out of the way, let's go over from top to bottom and let's, let's give you a confirmation of what you're looking at so you have an understanding of what some of the buttons mean and some of the fields. So on the top of the left of the dome here, you can see that there's a, a demo account ID. So normally if you're trading a live account, it will show your live AMP account number there. Of course, I am logged into a demo account at the moment, so it's just simply showing a demo ID. If you have, let's say, linked accounts, maybe you have a couple accounts linked to one username and password, then you would click, you can click on that and you can go ahead and select the different accounts, which you'll see here. Of course, this is a demo account, so I only have one account linked. But you can click here and you can see the different account numbers that are visible if you have linked accounts. Uh, this little bar here that you see is the high of the day. So it's usually represented by a blue line. Uh, 2079.75 is the current high. The low is 2074 and a quarter. 
So usually it's represented by a red line, which you can see right here. So if you're wondering, if you're looking at the hybrid order ticket, you see a red line going left and right, or you see a blue line going left and right. That's the high and low of the day. Uh, last trade price, how you identify the last trade price, it's either going to be a green price. Right now it's 2078.75, or it's going to be a red price. Or sometimes you'll see it go white, which basically means it's just a neutral trade. But what happens is if it goes red, that means the last trade was a down tick. And if you see it go green, the last trade was an uptick. As you can see right now, the last trade was a down tick at 78 and a half. And that's why you can see at this moment, that's where the market's currently trading. And then, of course, you have your depth of market, which is in the blue and red columns. Depth of market you can see here, which is kind of cool. It's actually giving you 10 levels deep on each side, which is nice. Uh, this basically tells you how many orders are working at each price level. Then, then right down the middle, you have the price, the, the price format of the particular market that you're trading. And then if right here, you see on the right side, I've already explained what this is here. That's pretty much the last trade price. That's the quantity of the last trade price. So we just executed a one lot at 78 half. Uh, that's the overall change for the day. So market's up four and a quarter, 33,000 contracts. That's an estimate. Uh, that's an, it also show here in the quotes field. We'll cover that later in the video. These big buttons here. So the buttons here, which is kind of strange sometimes, is the you'll see hidden buttons that are integrated within the button itself. So right now, the ask is 2078.75. You can see it says 2078.75A, which represents the ask. And that value of 24 that you see there is the the uh, the ask volume. All right, so there's or size you would say. So there's 14 contracts being offered at 78.75 at the ask. And then 78 half, you can see there's a B, which represents the bid price, and there's 84 contracts on the bid size. Now, if you hover your mouse cursor over each one of those big buttons, you'll see integrated buttons within that button in itself. So there's a buy market button, there's a sell market button, and then you have two other buttons. So you're either buying at the offer or you're selling at the offer. So the key thing is you're looking for the abbreviations to have you to get a better understanding of what that represents. A is always going to be ask, and B is going to be bid. And then you'll also see a confirmation of what the ask or bid price is. So 79 by 78.75, as you can see. And in this case, we're now buying the bid, we're joining the bid, or we're selling to the bid. So that's what those buttons do. But you have to hover your mouse cursor over the buttons to see those integrated hidden, hidden buttons within it, within the button itself, as you can see. And then, of course, you're just going to select you know, whichever button or whichever order type you'd like to submit to actually execute the trade, which I'll demonstrate in a bit. And then you have at the bottom here, you have two order types. You have stop and you have day order. Now, if you left click, you can change that to a stop limit or regular stop. By default, it's uh, if you just select, which I'll show in a bit, how to place trades off the dome, it's going to be very simple how to determine whether you're placing a limit or a stop order. Uh, this right here is basically what type of order, whether time and force. It's going to be either a day order or a good till cancel uh, or good till date. For now, we're just going to stick to day. This is how many contracts you want to buy or sell. So you can either use the up and down arrows to change the, the value. You can use or you can just type in the value, whichever is easier for yourself. Uh, this is just a quick way to implement that value. So for example, if you're looking to buy a hundred lot, you can go ahead and set that order size to 100, 10, or one. I find it easier just using the up and down arrows. This is my preference. On the bottom left corner of the hybrid order ticket, you'll also see a confirmation of what symbol that you have applied. So EPU6, the September mini S&P. If you click the little search icon, it then gives you the ability to change the instrument. So you can type in, for example, ENQU6, which is the September mini NASDAQ. If I just click OK, you're going to see the dome now change to the September mini NASDAQ. And now you can see data is flowing for that particular market. All right, now I have right at this moment, I'm currently linked my hybrid order ticket to my quotes page. So when I click on any instrument within the quotes widget, it just automatically changes my dome to that particular instrument. I find that more efficient for myself, just being able to switch from one symbol to another. I'll, sh I'll create a different video on how to link the, the particular widgets together, which is going to be uh, something that you probably be using very often, especially if you're using a wireless cell phone device, which you don't have typically a larger screen display. So it might be useful to have the ability to link from one symbol to another without having multiple widgets open. And then also on the bottom right corner of the dome, you have the zero, where it shows 0.00. .00. That's your OTE, which stands for o Open Trade Equity. So basically tells you how much you're losing or making uh, on the trade of the open position that you're in. This little button right here, revert ladder. So what happens is sometimes when the market starts to trade, you'll see the dome get a little off center. So as you can see, the last trade price is a little more on the, uh, on the upper side there. So if you hit the revert ladder button, it just automatically centers the dome and just makes it uh, more appropriate scale in terms of being centered. So that revert ladder button will basically be your center button. And this little button here, which uh, basically will collapse and hide the sidebar. So if you have no use of using these buttons, you can go ahead and collapse it. 
Uh, for myself, I definitely like it because I like to be able to utilize the uh, the buy market and sell market hotkeys. So it just makes it a little easier for me to get into the trades right off the actual hybrid order ticket. And that's a quick confirmation of how of what you see on the dome. So let's get right into showing you how to place trades off the hybrid order ticket. So the first thing you're going to want to do is very simple. You have to make sure that you click on a specific price within the hybrid order ticket. So you're going to identify a price first. So what I mean is, let's say I would like to place an order at 2081. So I'm going to left click. If I'm using a computer, I'm going to left click. If you're using a cell phone device, just simply press on it with your finger. And what you're looking for is a, you can see there's a red box around the price. So 2081, there's now a red box around it. So that's telling you that you have the price selected. So if you are a, you know, if you're experienced or if you've been trading futures for a while, you, by this point, you, or at this point in time, you probably already understand that there's only certain order types that can be placed on certain sides of the market. So, for example, if the market's 20, trading at 2078.75 and we clicked at 2081, only a sell limit or a buy stop can be placed at 2081. So what happens is when you click the 2081 price, what will then happen is these buttons here will automatically adjust to the proper orders that uh, order types that can be placed at 2081. So that's why it's very important for you to click the specific price first. Look for the red box to let you know that you've selected that price. And then you'll notice these big buttons here will adjust based on what orders can be placed at 2081 uh, versus what are compared to where the market's trading at right now. So in this case, there's a sell limit at 2081 and a buy stop at 2081. So now the next step is picking whichever order type you'd like to place. So if I want to place a buy stop, I'm just going to go ahead and left click on buy stop. And now if I place order, and now you can see I have an order placed at 2081. All right, so that's pretty much how you place trades on the hybrid order ticket. Very simple, very easy to do. If you notice also in the working orders widget uh, to the column here on the right, you can see the working order section visible. And also you can see on the dome, on the buy side at 2081, you can see a numerical one that's working to the left of 2081. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click here so you get an understanding of what menu option you can, you can utilize when you have a working order on the hybrid order ticket. So you can either cancel the order or you can modify the order. So if you modify the order, you just want to left click on the little modification button there. where It almost looks like a little pencil icon. So if you click on it, it then brings up this modification ticket. And then from here, you can either use the up and down arrows to change the quantity or the price, uh, or you can simply type in the value, whichever is easier for you. Or you can hit the offer of the bid by hitting these, by, by hitting these buttons here. So these are just basically quick buttons to, to, uh, to pretty much either buy the offer or, buy, or join the bid. All right, and then if once you make your changes, just make sure you hit modify order. So for example, if I want to change that from 2081 to 2081 quarter, I'm going to hit modify order. Click OK. And now the order has been changed to 81 quarter. All right, now I'm going to cancel the order. All right, now the order is canceled. All right, hit the confirmation. All right, and that's pretty much a, a quick example of how to place trades off the hybrid order ticket. Let me do another example below the market price. So 2077, you can see that I've the red box is around 2077. This time we'll do a sell stop, place order. All right, now you can see the order is working. Another thing I want to show you is if you have a working order on the dome, on the top right corner, you'll see a numerical one. That's letting me know that I have one working order on the hybrid order ticket at this moment. So watch what happens if I click that little one with the drop-down arrow. It brings pretty much a very similar menu option as if I was clicking right here. But instead, it's on the top right corner. So there's multiple ways to access the, uh, the modification ticket or canceling the order out directly off the hybrid order ticket. And if you, in the same concept, you'll just either hit the modify button here or you can just cancel the order by hitting cancel here. All right, now the order is canceled. All right, and now one thing that, uh, this is a common question is sometimes, okay, earlier I was telling you that there was a buy market, sell market buttons. If you notice, I'm hovering my mouse cursor over the big buttons here. Notice those internal buttons are not displayed anymore, and that's because I have a price selected on the dome. So if you want to get those buttons back, just hit the revert ladder button right here on the bottom. That will get rid of the, the selection of the price on the hybrid order ticket. Now you have the ability to, to utilize those internal hidden buttons there. So just again, if you have a price selected, which I do at the moment, 27.8.5 is selected. Now you see those internal hidden buttons are not displayed. But now if I hit revert ladder here on the bottom, now those buttons are displayed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and buy at the market here just to show you what an open position looks like on the dome here. All right, so there we go. 
So I just bought one at 2080. And how I know that, if you look on the top right corner of the hybrid order ticket, you can see there's an L1. Let me close the fill report. This is giving me a timestamp, letting me know what I just what I've just created. Now you can see at the top right corner, L1 represents long one at 2080. So that means I have a long position from 2080. All right, and that's usually represented by a blue in the color coordination. If you're short, let me go ahead and show you what a short position looks like. So I'm just going to go and sell this right back at the market price. And then I'm going to go ahead and just sell at the market price here. All right, now you can see I'm short one at 20.81 and a quarter. All right, so you can see that's represented by a red color code instead, which is letting you know that you just sold one. And now I just sold here, let's see here, at 20.81 and a quarter is where I'm short from. So you're mainly looking up here. Now, if you notice in the bottom right corner, I'm currently making $25 on the trade. That's my open trade equity. And now uh, that's a perfect example of how a open position looks on the hybrid order ticket, whether it's a long position or a short position. I'm going to go ahead and close out the position, just buy it right back at the market price. And now the position is closed. And that's a simple demonstration on how to utilize the hybrid order ticket. Very easy to use, probably if not the most popular way in terms of executing trades off the CQG mobile platform, mainly because you have depth of market, uh, the ease of function of being able to select different order types very easily. You can modify and cancel orders directly off the hybrid order ticket. So if you have any questions about this, guys, uh, please give our 24-hour our hour help desk a call. We're available around the clock to assist you. You can reach us at 312-893-6400, extension 1. Otherwise, guys, stay update, up to date on our YouTube channel. We're very proactive in keeping you up to date with our new products. It's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thanks, guys, for your valuable time. We look forward to seeing you in the next video, and happy trading.